it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something totally different that I have been wanting to do and I've been kind of practicing. Um, I have a clean face right now because I'm going to try and mimic a video that Charlotte Tilbury put up on their YouTube for the how to get the pillow talk look. I have all almost everything in the video and I'm just somebody who doesn't wear a lot of makeup in general, but then of course there's those days where you want to just like beautify and like look good going out. So I have been trying to practice how to make this stuff work. I'm also somebody who is for easy techniques, easy makeup, things that just apply well and good and fast. Um, so I'm going to try and mimic this video, but then on top of that, I'll also talk about what I like and don't like about each of the products because I have had and been using a lot of these products for six months to a year. So I'm just going to go through it. Hopefully it works out and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to move the camera in and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm excited. Again, these models are fantastic. So it looks like they're going through with the Magic Cream which I have, and they are going very fast, so I'm going to need to slow down this video. Um, and it looks like they put a lot on their face. I definitely don't use that much um, because here's the pros and cons of this, is I feel like it can sometimes feel just a little bit too much. Very thick consistency, and so I feel like when you put on a lot, it just doesn't really absorb into your skin as much as it does um, sit on your skin. So I don't know. I'm not putting on as much as I think that they're putting on. They put some really good size dabs on there. This is also very expensive. Um, maybe that's also why I don't use so much of it. Um, but also I have been using this for six months to eight months at least. And I don't use it every single day because, again, the consistency is very thick for a moisturizer. I cannot say that I see the difference with lines or skin texture or things like that. What I do see a difference with it is this glow. Do I think it's worth spending $100 for just a glowy moisturizer? No, because I just don't see the benefit of the actual product itself. So I won't be rebuying this cream again. I do like it. It's just not what I would want to buy and spend my $100 on. So I'm going to definitely not rebuy this magic cream. It is a good cream. It's just not, you know, my favorite. Okay, let's continue on. So now it looks like they're going in with the eye cream, which I also have here. And the eye cream... I have, again, had for a very long time, and I barely used it, and they put it really low on her eyes. I don't, am I just the only one who tries and gets, like, right up underneath because I feel like that's where a lot of my wrinkles are, like, right down in here. Again, I don't push very hard or anything like that, but I do like to get a little bit, a little bit higher than what they were doing in this video. So I do like this eye cream. Again, I haven't really seen the benefit of it though. Um, I do like it. One thing I'm gonna critique about this video and is I don't know how much time is they're leaving in between each application. So for example, this eye cream, it does take a little bit of time for it to settle in. So that kind of makes me a little bit nervous to just continue on. I'm gonna like fan it out a little bit. It does just take some time to really like get into set into your eyes. So I, I I get for the price again. I just I just won't be rebuying it. There's other stuff, especially I'm hooked on Beauty Pie right now. So it's so much cheaper, and it is definitely luxury. So I just won't get it. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's good to just try it once maybe, but other than that, I won't be repurchasing it. It's not my favorite thing. Um, but yeah, it's just an eye cream. So we'll continue on. Let's see what they're doing next. They're putting on a face primer. So I don't have that specific face primer. However, I do have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And in a lot of her other videos, she talks about how this spray can be used as a primer and a setting spray. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray as a kind of a primer and a foundation. 
I actually really love this spray. It is, number one, this is like the newer one. This is the White Tea of Valley smell. And it's, this fragrance is fantastic on it. It smells so nice. I know if you don't like fragrance, don't buy it. But um, this, I don't know. I really like this spray. It settles very quickly. As you can see here, though, there's a few large dots. And I've noticed that when you don't use it every single day, which I don't wear makeup every single day, it, the first spray or two when you get out of it is just like, like direct in your face. So when after a few pumps though it definitely just mists which it's a really good spray a really good pump um that is actually a setting spray that I would rebuy and I do use it as a base before my foundation and I feel like it does a great job it is kind of on the pricier side but I really do like it so that is one thing I will actually rebuy from her and at full price so continuing on it looks like she is using the Light Wonder, and this lady in the movie or in the video had like a medium color. I have the Light Wonder right here. Mine is a shade three for fair. I go in between medium and fair, depending on how much I'm outside here in Texas. So, um, anyways, let's. As oh, it looks like she's putting it on with a brush. Let me just, let me make sure I'm doing this correctly because I want to do it the way they're doing it. If they're using a brush, I'll use a brush. I don't think they ever use sponges. Okay, so it looks like they pre-placed it on her face and then used the brush. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm not, I'm not going to use as much as they use. I just, I don't know. I, again, I'm not much of a makeup person. Um, I just don't like using... I don't want to look like a cake face. However, as I'm applying this, I'll talk about this product. This is one of my favorite foundations to use it like in general from all different brands. It's been the only one that I'm going ahead and using this is just my it cosmetics this is one of my favorite brushes as well. Um, this is one of my favorites that I feel like actually doesn't sit on your face and it is very as it's called light wonder it's very light um i it's definitely light coverage it's definitely a little bit more watery um not very thick however i like that look i don't like looking like kind of a, a cake face <laughs> as they say but it does give a really good coverage and i really do i really do just love this foundation and for the price it's really one of, I would say, one of the more inexpensive items that she sells. Um, and I would be and will be repurchasing this for sure. It's one of my favorite. I think, as you can see here, I got a hair. As you can see here, it just really kind of evens out the texture very well. And I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm just kind of swirling it around. Again, I'm not no professional makeup person here. That's why I only buy stuff that's easy to do. This is super easy to apply. So not a full coverage, but it evens out my skin tone and it's very lightweight on my face. It's exactly what I need. So I will be repurchasing this one. Next, she goes through with the Magic Away Concealer. I don't have that. Um, that's very expensive for concealer. And uh, so I just have never bought it. However, I did buy the little concealer in a pod. And it looks like this. Mine is a medium, uh, number two. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use some of this around my eyes um, instead. And I know a lot of people have raved about this concealer um i i should probably be using a brush i don't know again i'm not experienced <laughs> uh if you guys have tips let me know but um i don't use this i would say i actually rarely use this to be quite honest um i just am not a concealer person unless i have like massive pimples i rarely put it here under my eyes but that's what they are doing so i am as I said, practicing and learning new things. So, but like this spot right here, I definitely would try and just blemish and blush that one out a little bit there. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I do like it. It's super creamy. This is definitely like a thicker coverage. This would last a very long time. I barely used any of it. Um, and I haven't noticed when I do wear it any creasing, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm not a concealer person, so I probably would not rebuy it, to be quite honest. However, you can still see my little veins under my eyes, but I don't think anything will ever cover that up. <laughs> Let's see what they're gonna do next. Wow, they put a lot of concealer on her. Whew. Ah, the Flawless Powder. Okay, love this powder, actually. <laughs> uh, I have the, it's the Airbrush Flawless Finish, and I have the medium. So it looks like this. I got the medium because it usually is going to be the color that I will be most of the time, I would say. Uh, the light one just looked really, really washed out. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they have a small brush. I like these bigger brushes for this. I just swirl it around, <laughs> kind of just put it everywhere. I really do like this powder. I feel like it absolutely does really, really blend everything on my skin in. And it gets sort of like the pores as well. Like, it definitely makes me feel and look like I have like the glass skin. So, and I have big pores. I've been trying to get rid of them, but I know that's impossible. So, uh, yeah, I really love this powder. It's one of the only ones, I know it's like 44 bucks or something, but it is like the only face powder that actually just sets into your skin. And I'm gonna repurchase this one all the time because it really is the only powder I have found that actually works on my skin especially. So, yeah, one of my favorites from her. Okay, now she's going in with the eyebrow pencil. So her pencil is a little different because I think I got the newer one. Mine is called the Brow Cheat, Cheat and it's the Micro Precision Brow. And it looks like this. And I think I got like a taupe or something, just like a regular color. I don't know where you find it on here. I think mine's just a regular color. Um, they are supposed to be waterproof, which is great. I don't even know how to open these things. So it has a spoolie on one end. How do you open this? Ah, uh, so there we go. So I don't really, like I said, I don't really use this a lot. Um, it's very, very small. So uh, yeah, let me pull out a closer mirror so I can do this. But it looks like they, maybe I should take off the other end as well. So she kind of just uses large strokes, which I don't know how to do brows very well. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna just go through like this first because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, that's why I hope these videos are. I've also haven't been plucking a lot because I'm trying to like make them grow thicker. You know how everybody in like the 90s and 2000s kind of like really took your brows down? Yeah, I feel like I'm still recovering from that when I was a little bit younger. So I don't know, I'm just gonna brush through and stroke through kind of like what she did. So I like this eyebrow pencil. I feel like you can get some good strokes and coverage in here. Um, I have a fun fact for you. I do have a scar on my eyebrow up in here, um, more in this area that I, if I don't use a pencil, you can really, really see it. It's just like kind of naked. There's no skin or there's no hair there um, because I had gotten bitten by a, my grandparents' dog when I was a baby. So I still have a scar there and I have one right here on my lip from the dog. Um, but this covers it really well, I guess, as you can, wow, it <laughs> looks fake, but <laughs> I don't know how to do brows, guys. Um, but I do like this pencil. I feel like it is very long wearing. Um, and for me, who doesn't know how to do makeup very well, I'm not a professional at all. I rarely wear it. Definitely more of like a tomboy athletic person. Um, I think it is very easy to use and I would say it's very forgiving. And if you make a mistake, I find that if one, I just use the spoolie on the end and kind of like over brush it out, it usually goes away. So, uh, yeah, I think as you can see, I mean, it looks okay. Like I'm not, I'm not a professional, but I think it looks okay. And I know it is waterproof. I have actually had it on when it's rained down here and it has stayed on. So I really do like this eye pencil for the price. It's like 30 something dollars. I don't know if I would rebuy it, but it does its job. Next, let's see here. 
Okay, they're going into the, the challenging part. So they're going into the Pillow Talk Eye Palette, which I have right here. And I actually have her mini set of brushes. So I'm going to use those again to get the same type of technique. Now I really want to watch how she does this because I am not good. So it looks like I'm not good at this stuff. So it looks like she uses like the bigger one and she uses number one all over the place and in the crease. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take this first one that she did and I'm going to put that just all over my lid like she did. I feel like the eye cream has uh, melted in and there is actually some creasing and cracking from that concealer going on right now. Now that I can see it again, I don't really wear it very much. I don't because I don't know how to wear it, but um, okay. So she put that on there. I don't know if she goes underneath the eye or not. Oh, she does. So let me switch to like my smaller brush here that she used and she goes underneath the eye. I don't do this a lot. It's a new, to me, it's a new technique that I'm trying to like learn here um but yeah you can see some cracking under here hopefully you can see that but yeah it's a little bit of cracking it's all right okay moving on let's see what she does next oh she uses the big brush again with the number two and she's kind of like winging it out and not putting it too heavy on the inside so let me try that Again, I feel like these people are definitely professionals and this is just not my thing. I probably also, I would say, have a heavy hand <laughs> and I don't know how to do this all properly. I do, as I'm doing this, love this palette. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette from any brand, to be honest and blunt. And I would totally... I am going to just repurchase this every time I run out. Um, yeah, I guess it kind of worked. <laughs> uh, looks a little bit heavy, but I just love it. It's for people like me who are not good and they go underneath, uh, who are not good at makeup. It is like the easiest thing to just apply to be like completely, completely transparent. The easiest thing to apply. I am not good at makeup at all, and this stuff just blends out so well, as you can see. Um, I absolutely love it. Now, I would say with this, she's going with the darker one now, so I'll take the third one. And I would say with this that people are going to get different colors or shades, maybe is the word, out of it, be depending on your skin tone. So I think I went extremely heavy on that right there yikes so you guys I'm just I knew I'm practicing um but it is just like so easy to apply and I would say it's kind of pigmented that I can like kind of blend it out pretty good um let's see if I can kind of not get it so dark but yeah I do really like this this palette and I feel like it is for people like me who are just very inexperienced and I definitely gravitate to this almost every time that I need to. <laughs> so, oh gosh, I look like I have so much makeup on because I never wore makeup. Okay, so next, they haven't used the little sparkly one in there yet. Next, they have the mascara. Now, I don't have that well, that mascara. I don't know if it's because they haven't ha they didn't have this one out, but I actually have the official Pillow Talk push-up lashes. So I'm just going to use this because uh, that's what I have, and this is a Pillow Talk video, so I figured I would use it. I got to definitely do my eyes first my eyelashes first now again I don't know how to do this properly like do you hold it or do you like pump it I don't know I just I have seen so many different like ways to do this stuff that sometimes it's frustrating because I can't keep up with makeup um, but I like trying new makeup because I like finding easy makeup and stuff that actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and I know this is not everybody's favorite mascara. I don't mind it when you learn how to use it. They have the smaller bristles 
and they have longer bristles. And so I find that when you have it rotated uh, on like a flat side before you do the full circle side, it definitely spreads out and makes your lashes look super long. And another thing is when I curl my lashes and then use this, because the bristles, I wouldn't even call them bristles, they're like rubber bristles, um, they don't really like hit the top of my eyelash or my eyelid, which is fantastic for me because like I said, I'm so inexperienced that I always mess up my makeup. Sometimes I even put mascara on before I do my uh, eyeshadow, which I don't know if you should, but uh, because I am just so inexperienced and not comfortable with makeup, that's what I just do sometimes. But I do like this. It is not waterproof. So if you are going to work out or you're going anywhere that it could rain, do not wear this. <laughs> uh, I have tried to work out in it because I usually try different things like that out. And it did kind of sweat off. Um, but on an everyday basis, like going to work or just at home even, this stuff is definitely... I do actually really like this mascara. So gives you a little bit of length, gives you some volume, and it was just easy to apply, especially for somebody like me. So yeah. Okay, so now that they got the mascara on, let's see what they're gonna do next here. Oh, that's fun, let's see. Do I look like her? I don't know. Um, let's see what else they're gonna do. Oh, now they're going back in with the fourth color and they're just wiping it along the eyelid. I love this sparkle in here, this fourth color. Love it. Absolutely love it. It literally just brightens up your eyes. And again, I don't know how much time they had in between putting on the mascara and applying this, but <laughs> uh, mine is still wet. I always find also I end up putting more on one eye than the other and I don't know how to how to even that out exactly but that's the finished look and uh, I love that sparkle it doesn't leave like big pieces of sparkle it just really highlights now they're going in with a bronzer and the highlight palette and this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I have it in the small one. They had a, a, this little one for like a Christmas. I don't know if they do it every Christmas. I'm new to Charlotte Tilbury, but this is like huge. And I this is my go-to for this stuff. And honestly, I uh, love it. I use it all the time. Um, and I don't even know where is she putting this stuff because I don't use it a lot. So she's using the bronzer kind of just on the cheek area up okay so just kind of where like everybody else kind of puts it i guess now the nose though that's kind of new to me i'm not gonna lie i don't usually put any on my nose um and i don't really put any up here because i don't know if i'm using it correctly so i don't use bronzer very much <laughs> uh yeah, because it kind of just scares me a little bit, not gonna lie. And I don't really understand this whole like contouring thing either. Terrible at that. Uh, let's put it on the nose where they kind of put it. I don't know if this actually does anything, to be quite honest. Uh, if it does, let me know <laughs> if you think it changed my face or my appearance. I don't know, I don't feel like it does, but. Okay, now for the highlighter. They're just, again, putting it on the cheeks. I'm just kind of swirling it up and down. I love this highlighter. This is one of my like favorite highlighters. Mm. Never put it up here either on top of the lip. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I love this. Love this highlighter and bronzer set. It's super easy to apply and it's not too pigmented. So I feel like it's extremely forgiving for inexperienced people like me. Super forgiving. Okay, so here comes my next least favorite part I would say <laughs> I'm just not good at this is the lips okay so I have the pillow talk pencil like they're using I don't ever I shouldn't say ever I just don't know how to use lip stuff and I have tiny lips I have stuff on my face here from 
some of the little fluffies. Um, so I don't know. And I have tiny lips, especially on the top. But I'm going to do what they're doing. And so they're outlining it. She has really big lips. I wonder if, wonder if she has those injections that I see all the time on TV. Okay. So I do like this lip pencil, even though it's like the only one I own and I've ever bought. I don't really use it. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to. I don't know. I, and I guess with this whole pillow talk line, depending on the color of your skin tone and your lips and stuff, you'll get different colors from it. So, uh, I just won't rebuy this. This was just a tiny sample size that I got in like a combo pack with the lipstick. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I do actually really like the lipstick. I'm not going to lie. The color is like fantastic. It doesn't make me go, Oh my gosh. Like, that girl's got a lot of lipstick on. Uh, yeah, again, I just don't know how, I just don't know how to apply it sometimes. <laughs> now, I'm not a lipstick person, so tell me, are you supposed to see the cracks on your lips when you put lipstick on? Like, I, I don't know. I usually live, use, like, lip oils, especially from Beauty Pie. I love those right now. Uh... But this is super creamy. I love the color because it does on my skin tone at least look natural and it's not kind of like crazy, but I don't know. Right now I am feeling and looking a little bit glowy though, which is great. Okay, so next, I don't even know what we have left. I think we just have blush maybe. Let's see what they do. Blush, yes. Okay, so the pillow talk. I have the cheek to chic pillow talk. And that one, I don't know if it's actually lighter or darker than what she had, but this is what mine looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of swirl it around like they did. And then they just kind of put it on. Now, again, I like this blush a lot because it is, again, very forgiving. And I think that's why I do like a lot of their pillow talk stuff because it is very forgiving for somebody like me who is very inexperienced. So would I buy this blush again? It is expensive for a blush, but I actually probably would. I might just try a darker I don't know. That's might be a little bit too much, but I might try a darker shade. I don't know. I'm just like following what they're doing, but I don't know how to use blush very well. So I don't know. I do like it. I feel like it is so easy to blend and you get a little bit of pigmentation, a little bit of shine and that's all they did. I'm just going to do, go over with this spray again, setting spray. And uh, that's all they did. So I don't know. What do you think? I like it, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever used all this stuff at the same time for a look, to be quite honest, but I have all of it. Um, I do really, I do really like it. I mean, I think her stuff is great. It's just pricey. And if you just pick and choose kind of the right stuff, um, it might be worth it for you. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I've never done this type of video before. It's It was very kind of informative for me. But if you have any questions about some of the other products, let me know. I just want to touch on these brushes really, really quickly. These were like $60. They're like the travel size brushes. So they're super just small and cute. Um, they just, they kind of feel a little bit rough, to be quite honest. They're not very soft. Would I rebuy them? No. Are they great for traveling? Yes. So just wanted to touch on those brushes just really quickly. So I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.